welcome to a new video lecture today we will discuss a problem related with the consistent deformation method so in the given question a beam is given with a, the one end fixed and the and the roller support is also given and 50 kN per meter udl is acting over the holes beam and here the distance between fixed end and the roller is 8 meter and to the overhanging sub beam is 2 meter and the first of all we have to determine whether it is statically determinate or indeterminate in this case we can note down that if we neglect the horizontal force here there is no horizontal forces are acting over here only 50 kN that is acting downwards and it is we can consider it is in a vertical force so number of reactions here we can note down as ba and here one moment is also here and here there is also a component v or v and v these are the some of the components and we can note down that so number of reactions is 1 plus 1 and here 1 so total 3 then number of equilibrium equations you have to consider only two since we are not considering the horizontal forces so final value there is 1 so here we have to make one component as a redundant number so in this case we can consider this b or roller support as our Roller support as our redundant member, so that we will get a cantilever beam with a UD acting over. So now we have to analyze the deflection act occurs at this point B. So we can analyze this deflection using either moment area method or conjugate beam method or unit load method. Here we are using unit load method, and how to find out this uh, deflection at the point B? So first of all we have to consider take this two portions bc and then ab so the origin of this bc is c and origin of ab is b and the limit is also given 0 to 2 and 0 to a that is also given and if you take a section over here if you take a section over here the value will become the moment value will become minus 50 x square by 2 so you are taking here x distance So the value is going to be 50 multiplied by x into x by 2. So the final value minus 15 x square by 2. And here again we are going to consider a section here. From here we are going to take x. So the value is again going to be minus 15 x square by 2. Then of this portion, the value will become minus 15 into 2. That is the fold. and the moment distance is it will be it is acting at the center so this distance will be 1 so 1 plus x should be multiplied so that is the case of capital l then you have to remove all those loads all those external loads and if you are applying 1 uh, kN here if you are applying this is all the principle related with the unit load method only so if you are applying 1 kN force in this portion there is no in this portion there is no what no moment, no forces are acting here so the value is going to be moment is going to be zero and if you are going to take a section here the value is just minus x so this is the principle of unit load method then our intention is to deflection at b will be equal to integral capital m multiplied by small m by e i to dx so first case it will be zero if you multiply capital m with the, in the case of bc it is going to be zero then you have to multiply these two portions first one and the second one so if you multiply and integrate you will finally get the value as if you finally get the value as 3760 by ea this is the value of deflection as to be due to the udl then our next intention is to after removing all those external udl we are going to apply the redundant force then how the bending moment diagram will come it will be in the upward direction and we know that the value at this point will be if you draw the f by e a diagram the point end to value will be 8 that is this distance multiplied by rb 8 rb by e a Then you have to take the area of this triangle. That is half. 
multiplied by HRB by DI, then total is in 3, then you have to take the center of gravity distance from this point. Okay, that is given as 2 by 3 multiplied by 8, and finally you will get 170.67 RB by DI. And we know that at the point B, both the diffraction must be equal, so 1 equal to 2, so finally you will get the value of RB as 80.625 kN. And if you uh, add up those values, R F plus R B equals 15 multiplied by total standard is 150 and the R A value is going to be 69.375. Then we have to find out the moment at the fixed length. Either we can consider, uh, here we are assuming the direction of clockwise, such that if you are taking the moment about the point B, 15 multiplied by 2 into 1, that is here. 15, it is in the clockwise direction with respect to B. But in the case of the rest of the span, the value is going to be 15 multiplied by 8 into 4. It is in the anti-clockwise direction. And this is RA force or BA force. So it is, in the, it is also acting in the clockwise direction. So it is also taken as positive. And it, we assume this direction as positive. And finally we get the value as MA equal to minus 105 kN per meter. So our assumed direction should be in the, if we are going to consider, it is in the anti-clockwise direction. Okay, then it the value will be positive. Okay, RA, RB, then MA, our next aim is to determine the, how to draw the bending moment diagram and the shear force. So for that, we have to analyze from this free end. So here we are going for the time convention, that is, in the portion BC, Vx is acting upward and the MX is in the clockwise direction. So, if you take the section for shear force BC, Vx is acting upward, so and 15 into x, that is acting in the downward direction, so 15 into x. So, if you substitute x, when x equal to 0, BC equal to 0, then when x equal to 2, when x equal to 2, the value is going to be 30. And in the case of AB also, we are going to take the section from the jaw point C. So, x distance is x, so 15 into x minus 80.625. So, VB value, when you substitute the VB value, the value is going to be, when x equal to 2, the value is going to be minus 50.625. And the VA value is going to be 69.375. So, here the value is going to be positive. So, in some point, the VX shear force value is going to be 0. So, for determining that value, we have to substitute the Vx equal to when Vx equal to 0, what is the value of x? So, if you substitute where Vx equal to 0, we will get and solve this equation. So, finally, you will get x, when x equal to 5.375, the shear force value is going to be 0. Then, coming to the moment, how you are going to find out the moment? Here, it is acting in the clockwise direction and uh, if you are applying, this is in the, what is, what is the direction, here it is going to happen in the hoagie and the value is minus 50 x square by 2 and when x equal to 0, we know that mc equal to 0, then x equal to 2, the value is going to be minus 30. And similarly, we will consider here also, the x distance is here and uh, from this we will understand that minus 50 x square by 2 plus 80.625 into x minus 2. x minus 2 means this distance is x minus 2. Since this much a distance is 2 and this distance is x, so the distance will be x minus 2. And finally, you substitute when x equal to 2, the value is minus 30 itself. And then uh, if you substitute uh, the value when x equal to 10, 10 meter, the at the end it will it's going to be minus 105. That's why we already find out. And here at some point the moment is also going to be zero. So we will substitute this uh, when a when moment equal to zero. In this equation we substitute, we will get it is a quadratic equation and we will get two values that is x equal to 8.09 and x equal to 2.65. The bending moment value is going to be zero. That is at some point here and at some point here. Okay. And for drawing this SFT, we will go through this value. So we know that at the initial point, the value of shear force is 0. 
and at some point after that is this roll up point the value is going to be 30 and at the same weak point there is a negative value that is 50.625 is also happen and at the 5.375 the shear force value is going to be 0 and here at the top uh, the fixed end of the value is 69.37 that is positive value please mark the sign convention also and in the case of BNG diagram the value at this joint B is 0 and at the point B it is going to be 30 that is minus 30 and at some point it is going to be at the 2.65 or 8.09 the value is 0 moment value is 0 and for, for the case of drawing we will just consider that x when x equal to 6 meter the value is going to be 52.5 and at this free end the value is 105 minus 105 so that is the about SFD and the BMD of this beam. So with this we will wind up today's section. Thank you.